ஹலோ வருவோம் ஆயுர்வேத பிரசாத்தியும் அஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் பிஎன்சி ஏடிஎம் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் நாம் டெமோஸ்ட்ரேட் ஹவு டு கனெக்ட் என் ஆரோ பேண்டேஜ் ஆஃப் கிரிக்கல் யூஸிங் மல்டி சிம் ஸோ இயர் வி ஹேவ் ஏ சர்க்கிள் டைக்ராம் ஆஃப் நேரோ பேண்டேஜ் ஆஃப் கிரிக்கல் திஸ் ஃபில்டர் இட்ஸ் ஆல்சோ கால் ஆஸ் நாட் ஃபில்டர் so here we have three sections the first section is high pass filter sorry low pass filter in the second section is high pass filter combination of a low pass filter and a high pass filter and a semi amplifier will give you a bandage filter the meaning of the word bandage filter means it will reject it will eliminate particular band of frequencies and allow all other frequencies other than the frequencies what we have mentioned in the band so now i will show you how to connect this band jack filter using op amps in multi sim so now i will open this multi sim so we need op amp so if you can place this six and click on analog so take 741 open so 741 open needs supply so take the supply and another supply in this case in the ground and another ground so first i will make this connection because for high pass filter also the connection will be same I will flip this one. I will connect this one too. Plus VCC and the negative is connected to ground. So again flip this one because negative is connected to minus VW and the other one is connected to ground. I will connect to the circuit diagram. So we have to make the connection between pin number 2. and pin number 6 so i'll take the connecting wire which is connected between pin number 6 and pin number 2 now i'll copy this one to open and paste it in now so I will paste here now we need two resistors two capacitors at the input side and the intermediate stage we need two resistors and the output stage we need another resistor so total we need Five resistors and two capacitors. So, and I will take resistor now. So, the value of this resistor is four twenty one. And another one, I will put here the lead stage. And another one. and the one more now i will change this values so click this one counter clock this and change this value to 420 ohms so this 420 ohm is connected to the number 3 and this one is ground so we need a 2 kilo ohm resistor now i'll change this value to 2 kilo ohm now connect between i'll connect to pin number 3 
சொன்னாலும் தோற்கப்பட்டு ஒன் <laughs> And these two terminals should be connected. And coming to the other part. So from pin number 6 of both the printers, we need to connect 1 kilo ohm resistor. So I will change this value to 1 kilo ohm. Again I will change this value to 1 kilo ohm. So this is connected to this output pin number 6. Again, this is connected to pin number 6. Now, going to the circuit. So these outputs should be connected in between. Then, from pin number 2, Now, we have 10 kilo ohm resistor Let's make a change We should not be in position This should be connected to pin number 6. So now I have to connect an input device. Input device will take the function generator, negative of which is connected to ground, and the positive is connected at this point. So let me take a 1 kilohertz signal. 10 volts to keep it sinus at all rate. In the output device, I will take a border plot. Again, the derivative of which is connected to ground. So, output is taken from pin number 6. And the input is connected to this particular. Now I will simulate the circuit and I will show you how we are going to get the output. We will simulate this one. Click on this button. Now double click on this border plot. So we are going to get a graph which shows the band rejection. So here you can see band rejection filter so it will reject only this band of frequencies and close all other frequencies so at the output side we can even connect a multimeter and we can vary the frequency at input side and get the different values of output and we can plot the graph band reject graph 
using Excel sheet. So the same graph can be plotted in Excel sheet. So I will show you now how to do that one. So I will minimize for time being. So we will take the multimeter. So negative of which is connected to ground and the positive is connected to output side. So we we'll change the frequency. So let's keep it as 10 hertz and observe the output. So 10 hertz we are not getting anything. So change to 50 hertz. So we are getting 7.3 volts. I change now. We are getting 5 10 hertz. So 10 hertz we are getting 5.029 volts. So I will open an Excel sheet. So for 10 hertz I am getting 5.002 volts. Now I will change to 20 hertz. The value is fluctuating. So, change it to 50 hertz. So, we get some other value. Similarly, some 500 hertz I will check. Six point nine four eight volts. So we change it to kilohertz and fifty kilohertz. So two kilohertz. So starting from ten hertz, we can keep on increase the value of frequencies and now can the value of voltage in the multimeter and we can plot the graph for voltage values. So we will really get a band digit filter in Excel sheet also which will be equal to what we have seen in this one. So same kind of graph can be obtained using Excel sheet. So the same thing has been done in the other video for band pass filter. You can refer to band pass filter where I have shown you how to plot the graph in Excel sheet for these values. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.